Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I'm going to kind of go on a tour of what Christmas presents I bought and how you know what is right to buy for a Christmas present. So uh, let's jump into this. So over here is my little Christmas tree with all the presents that I have bought so far for my friends and family. Christmas can be a very hard time to find gifts for difficult people. So I'm going to go through what I bought and try and help you find ideas for things that you can buy. Okay, so the first present I have here is a present for my friend Chanda. As you can see, I kind of made a gift bag out of wrapping paper. This handle is kind of useless. I actually wanted to put ribbon through it but didn't have any and wanted to curl the wrapping paper and make it a ribbon but that didn't work out so now it's just kind of like a fake handle but if you actually pull up on this it's just all gonna rip if you want to learn how to do gift bags I can easily teach you guys if that's something you want me to make a video on I also made a ribbon out of wrapping paper here but anyway what I bought for my friend Chanda is a llama stuffed animal and a llama blanket I also bought her llama hooks which is in a different present over in the corner but my friend Chanda is a kind of odd ball and she likes weird things and she has kind of gotten into the internet craze of llamas so I went to Five Below and they had a lot of llama themed things there and I knew that she would immediately love some of the stuff so I made sure to pick up a couple different items for her that revolved around llamas now, I know that she enjoys fluffy things, so I bought her the stuffed animal in the blanket because it's comfortable and they're cute, and it revolves around stuff that she likes. Now, the hooks I bought because they were very decorative and very detailed, and she's an artist, so she's very good at drawing and she loves artistic things. So I thought that was another idea that was really great to buy her, also because they were llamas. So everything revolves around the llama idea, but they're also things that she would like and use. So one of the next gifts I have is pajama pants. So I bought PJ pants for my boyfriend because he owns one pair of PJ pants and so a lot of the time he's even cold during the night because he doesn't own nice warm PJ pants so that's something I knew that he would like and enjoy um, I also got those at five below they were only five dollars you know you can buy great gifts for a cheap price so do not think that you have to spend a, a large amount of money to make someone happy Money's not going to buy happiness. It might buy a great present, but you can also find or make great presents. Okay, I'm going to just kind of go through a few things. Um, okay, this is one of my favorite things we bought, and it was very inexpensive. I think this was like $4. This is a picture frame for my boyfriend's grandma, and it's, it says Nana. That He calls her Nana, and the picture frame has like a little saying about Nana's. And then you put a picture of them in there. So we made sure to get a picture of them and put it in the frame too. And it's just a very thoughtful gift. This is something that would make her really happy and feel loved. It was very inexpensive. It was very fun and cute. So it's definitely going to touch her heart. And we didn't have to spend a lot of money either. Um, a great thing to get your friends that you don't know what they would like is just money or gift cards. I know that is kind of like a blah thing to get. I know a lot of people do not like to buy those because they feel like it's not thoughtful enough. But let me tell you, a lot of the times you want to be thoughtful but then end up buying crappy gifts that you probably don't think they'll like. I know I've done that in the past. Uh, I figured nowadays that I'm older, um, people are going to want and use money more often than they're going to want or use your crappy gift that you bought. So. Even if it's not very thoughtful, it's going to be more valuable to them than getting them uh, a gift that you're unsure of. So maybe find a place that they love and get a gift card from there. Or just give them money which they can save up and use for something bigger that they want. Um, another thing about gifting is do not feel bad about re-gifting. I have a shirt that I am giving to my friend and it is a re-gift item. I bought it for myself originally, 
Um, but since I'm becoming a minimalist, I, that is one thing that I never wore and it was brand new with tags. And instead of just throwing it to the Salvation Army, I'm re-gifting it to my friend who I believe will actually enjoy it. So that means I did not have to spend any money on her presents. So that was a bonus for me. She will also enjoy it. So that's a bonus. And she doesn't need to know that it was re-gifted. And even if she does know it's re-gifted, like, that does not make the present any less valuable to her. Like, if somebody bought me something and I don't like it, but I know somebody else who is going to enjoy that, then there is nothing wrong with re-gifting a present. So never feel embarrassed or wrong about re-gifting. And I think I made a video about re-gifting before on my channel. If you want to check that out, I'll try and link it below if I can find it. But that is something you should never feel bad about. Another thing that is really great for Christmas presents is D DIY stuff. A lot of people on YouTube do DIY videos. So that's something you can easily learn and easily buy. A lot of the stuff you can buy at like Dollar Tree for a dollar and make beautiful, adorable DIY things for a friend or family member that you know they're gonna enjoy and it was cheap to you and it was easy and it was thoughtful and it was a nice present so definitely think about DIY, DIY crafts that you can do or make um there's a lot of like furniture stuff that you can make if you're good woodworking the that's pretty easy to uh come across and make something thoughtful that they'll really love because it's detailed and it's craftsmanship so yeah definitely Think about the person individually and think of things they like or personality traits they have like artistic stuff. My friend is very artistic so I made sure to buy her something that I felt involved that um, from her personality trait. Your friend might be funny so maybe they might like something to do around comedy. Maybe a funny t-shirt or something of that sort. Maybe a funny movie or something that they can play a game like that's funny. I know a lot of like Cards Against Humanity is a hilarious game. So maybe you can buy them that. You know, just think about that person individually and think about their personality traits and things they enjoy and things they need. Um, even like household items. I know for Christmas I asked my family to buy me like hand soap and shampoo and stuff that I don't necessarily be blown away with but something that I need and something that I use a lot so that I can I will go through them it will save me my personal money from spending it every week to try and find other things so I'll also think about doing that it's not a, Christmas should not be a stressful event and if all else fails like I said gift cards or money are always great to go to they are not as thoughtful but they will definitely be more useful. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.